the leaders in Phnom Penh and left for them to decide on the fate of these people. With respect to Krang Tachan, again, the evidence clearly proves killings on a massive scale. Uh, both the guards who worked there and the handful of prisoners who survived agree that with few exceptions, the people sent to the security office were killed. The guard Sreitan, who testified, uh, who was known as Little Doik, admitted that 99% of the prisoners were smashed. Van Son, another prison cadre, agreed with Little Doik that the vast majority of the prisoners were liquidated. And guard So Tsang testified and admitted in this courtroom, I quote, as for the survival, from the security office, I don't think there were many. On Tuesday, the civil parties played a testimony uh, from Soi Sen uh, describing the killings of prisoners at Krang Tachan. And in addition to having witnessed uh, some killings, Soi Sen was also regularly assigned to dig the grave pits and bury the bodies of the dead prisoners. Other survivors from this prison also testified about the removal of their fellow prisoners for execution. Von Saroon described how she saw knives being sharpened by the guards, people taken away to be executed, and executioners returning soaked in blood. As with S21, the testimony of these witnesses regarding killings is confirmed by contemporaneous documents from Krang Tachan and Tramcock. This, uh, this document is a monthly report uh, sent by Krang Tachan totaling the number of people who entered, the number who were killed that month, and the number who died of illness. If you're looking at the report for November 1977, it's document E3-2109, which states that 75 new prisoners entered that month, 92 were purged, and 6 died of illness. 92 people executed in this one month in just this one district. We also know from uh, the testimony of former cadres, former district secretaries, and from surviving records uh, that execution orders were sent to the district uh, by the Sector 13 Secretary, uh, often on interrogation reports uh, that had been sent uh, to the sector office for the prisoners. And here you will see uh, one of those interrogation reports uh, from Frank Chan, E3 2012, which contains a handwritten order uh, from Sector 13 Secretary Prak to quote-unquote smash them all. <laughs> And your honors, in look, look, sorry, one look, of the most look, important look, moments uh, of this trial, look, look, a former Tramcock district look, secretary, Nyang Uch, known as Tassan, uh, admitted that he wrote this document. A document that states, any bigger children that have already gone to the mobile units or children unit. Let them stay there and take just the mothers. But if children cannot be separated from their mothers, bring them in for interrogation, 
and after everything is finished, sweep them all clean. The former Tramcock District Secretary testified to you that the instructions on what to do with young children that are stated in this letter came from the sector secretary. He admitted in this courtroom that sweep them all clean meant to kill. To kill toddlers and infants. This admission from the former district secretary confirms that the killing of children that was witnessed by Soi Sen at Krang Chan, the killings of children and young babies that were admitted by guards, Soi Sang and Soi Thon, were not rogue acts. They were acts done pursuant to the policies and instructions of the CPK leaders. Like S21, our remains were collected from some of the mass graves at Krang Also like S21, they were not properly preserved for many years. So there has undoubtedly been extensive loss in the numbers. Gun Vuti did a study of the remaining some 1900 skulls at Krang Chan and testified that they bore markings of violent trauma to the skulls similar to what he saw in the Chang'e remains. Your Honours, I'm going to turn to S21 now if you wish to break down or I can continue on to address killings at S21. Thank you. 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 ขอบคุณและนี่ดาวเปิดสมทรบสมระให้ความเป็นประกาศสมระจะไปเป็นนี้ตัวเตลโหดนำมองดอกพละโซมันเชิญโจวิ่งทำไมมาต่อกันจำ